Join me for a day of summer homemaking as we prepare our homestead to have some guests over. Welcome or welcome back to Simple Sacred Home. My name is Paige and in today's video I'm going to just be taking you through some random projects that I've been doing and are continuing to work on as we prepare to host some guests this summer. We have a few different occasions where we'll be having guests in our home that we currently know about and so I wanted to do some things to prepare for that. One of them being this guest bedroom. To give it a little refresh because we do have some guests staying with us in the very near future and so this room has not had anything done to it since we moved in. The walls are just primed and it was whatever the last owners had done with it in here. We hadn't hung curtains. We have no designated furniture for this room. Anything that's in here is just pieces that we have collected. And so I wanted to give this room a little refresh without spending any money. So just taking pieces throughout my home that maybe didn't have a home or that I could repurpose and use them in here just to make this room feel a little bit more inviting and cozy and homey for our guests. So a no-brainer when you are refreshing the space is to just give it a good deep clean. So I wiped down all of the window sills, mopped and dusted, and swept because there was basically just a bed and a chair in here. There wasn't much to clean so it made it really easy. I already had a few pieces of art hanging on the wall that I have thrifted over the last few years so I ended up keeping the one above the bed that was already there and then you'll see that I added a couple other pieces that didn't currently have homes. As far as the bedding, a super easy way to just refresh a space is to change up the bedding. So whether you have bedding from another room that you can swap out in here, or if you are okay with spending a little bit of money, getting some new bedding will make all the difference and really give it a refresh. Once again, you don't have to buy anything. So if you have any spare linens from your other bedrooms, you can use that. Or if you really don't have anything, you could always go to the thrift store or honestly, if you are looking for fairly affordable bedding, Walmart has some great pieces. And so the sheets on this bed actually are from Walmart, not the gingham print, but the floral ones behind it. So I decided to do a little bit of a mixed pattern and print, which was really fun. And then hanging curtains. These curtains we used to have in our bedroom. They're a little short, so I like to, to make a room feel the coziest it can. I like to have the curtain rod as close to the ceiling as possible. It makes the room look bigger and brighter, and so the curtains are not long enough to hit the floor, but these were just some spare curtains that we had, so I decided to put them in here. And even though they don't hit the floor like I would like them to, they add so much coziness into the room. So if you don't have curtains, that's like curtains and bedding will make all of the difference. We're gonna come back to the progress in the guest bedroom, but in the meantime, I'm actually going to be making my sourdough chocolate chip cookies. I'm making two batches here. One I'm making is dairy-free, since my husband can't have dairy. The other version is standard dairy. The only thing that you have to swap in this particular recipe, which I'll have linked down below, is for the dairy-free version, I use a margarine that doesn't have dairy in it. And then for the regular version, it's sticks of butter and then obviously the chocolate chips. So they make non-dairy chocolate chips. I get those for the non-dairy version. And then I just use regular chocolate chips for the dairy version. Those are the only two subs that I have to do for this recipe. This is a great way to use some sourdough if you have discard because it is a discarded recipe. And the reason that I'm making these randomly today is because we are gonna be hosting in the next few weeks and chocolate chip cookies, these ones in particular, I made them during the holidays and everybody loved them. I thought that they would be the perfect dessert for our little gathering that we're gonna be having. And this is great because I can make these in advance. The good thing about this recipe is I can make them and then freeze them. They can store in the freezer for up to three months. So I can make them today while I have a little extra time and then store them away and then bake them the day before the gathering, which is awesome. So you're gonna see me make them into little balls here. I put them in the fridge for 24 hours to long ferment, 
and then I store them in the freezer in an airtight container for up to three months. Another thing I did this day for just meal prep is some hard boiled eggs. These are a great source of protein. I'm really trying to be mindful of what I'm consuming. And so having hard boiled eggs is just a great source of protein to have in the fridge. So I like to take advantage of that if I have a day where I can do some extra prep. You guys know me, I love a good floral arrangement. This is something that I do not every single week, but probably every other week or so. I love going on a weekend and getting some fresh flowers and cutting an arrangement. And I ended up spray painting this terracotta pot that my mom had gotten me a few years ago. And I spray painted it white and I love how it looks and it's going to be perfect for the guest bedroom. All right, I wanted to talk to you guys today about our outdoor space. My husband has been working so hard on this garden and the walls of the garden fence are officially all up. We got these solar lights that go on the post. Some of them are on, some of them are not because he has to cut the posts all down to the same size and Lowe's where we got those solar lights are they only had a few boxes so we need to go get some more there's still quite a bit of work to be done we need to finish painting we got the arbor up but it's obviously not painted and there's so much work to be done on the inside so our goal is to get that done before guests come over I also got these shepherd's hooks that I would love to get some hanging plants for. And then we have our fire pit area, which we're going to get cleaned up. Put some DIY benches out here using cylinder blocks and wood. I'm excited to share that with you guys and get some and get some whiskey barrels that we're going to put quickcrete in and some posts and string twinkle lights on. We're also going to string twinkle lights solared ones along the fence line as well so i'm going to show you guys that and i can't wait to update you it looks a little crazy right now but i'm very hopeful that we'll get it all done hopefully in time for everyone to come over Eventually, we also want to plant some roses that are going to go up the arbor, so that will cover a lot of the arbor itself, which I'm excited about. And the inside of the garden has so much space that we're going to be able to grow into as time goes on, which is very exciting. We also want to go in, we used hog wire for the actual fencing panels, so we're going to go in and paint that all black so that it doesn't show up the silver as much the black really blends in a lot nicer once it's painted but that probably won't get done until later on in the the summer and then these are the lights that we got i've had a few strands of them for the last few years and i got them on amazon i'll have them linked down below we absolutely love them and so I highly recommend them. All right, back into the guest room. We hung some art that I had thrifted over the last few years that didn't have a place. And this lamp I also thrifted. Everything really in here is thrifted, which is awesome just over time. And then I realized the lamp was a little too short. So I added this little wooden riser and the floral arrangement that I made. Added a lampshade that I already had. And it just made this cute little nightstand area, which I'm really happy about. And that's it. It just looks so much cozier in here. I wish I had a better before picture, but it looks cozy. It's inviting. And we are so ready to have some guests over and use this space.
If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this in regards to simple living, homemaking, and creating sacred spaces at home. And I'll see you guys in the next one.